Welcome back to Fields of Clover, and welcome back to the mess that is our lives. But in case you missed it, over on my Instagram, we took a poll on what you want to see next, and it was super close, 60-40, yeah, um, on baby food prep or nursery organization, and nursery organization won, and it's probably a good thing that it did because I have to make Bailey food every day, but I don't have to clean and organize her room every day. Um, but it really needs to get done. Let me show you the situation. This is real life. <laughs> this room is a mess and a half. I did not attempt to even try to make things look even slightly nicer for you guys today. Um, there is dirty laundry everywhere. This is clean laundry that I got afraid to fold because there was a spider in the hamper. We took care of that. This is the situation. I planned for this dresser to be like a great changing station slash clothing storage situation. Um, it's gotten out of hand um, because, well, Bailey is a lot bigger now. Her clothes are a lot bigger now. So, um, just don't fit in the drawers the way that I had planned for them to. So, like, the storage situation is set up for a newborn, not for a now seven-month-old. A lot of the clothes in the drawers don't even fit her anymore. They're too small. And then this is the closet situation. Basically, we have, like, her baby bassinet filled with, I don't even know what. These are bins of baby clothes. Um, we have cards, we have boxes, we have bags with clothes. It's just, it's just kind of a mess. So the plan is to organize, declutter, get things situated. I got, like I said, a couple more storage options for the closet to help with that. Um, and then I got another plastic bin for the clothes that she has outgrown sadly um so hopefully this room is going to be in a lot better shape the next time you see i honestly don't know where to start but i think i'm going to start by decluttering because then it'll clear the mind a little bit so i'm going to start right in there in the closet with all of the clothes that don't fit bailey anymore i got this plastic tub I have bigger ones from before, like longer, but I couldn't find any. So, plastic tub for all of the little baby clothes that no longer fit my baby. Okay, let's start. have it all packed up. I wish I had one of the bigger ones, but that'll do. Okay, since I'm already doing clothes, I'm just going to keep on the clothes train. I put all of the clothes that don't fit her anymore in this bin. I have a basket full of clean laundry. You're actually leaning on a pile of dirty laundry. So I'm going to do that, but I have to get these drawers right here. They need to be sorted out. I already have some little organizer cubes from Ikea in there, um, but her, her clothes are bigger now, and some of them just don't fold nicely or fit well into the Ikea cubes. So I also got these new cubes from Amazon. I'll try to link everything below that I got from Amazon um, if you wanna take a look at any of them. Um, but yeah, I got these kind of bigger cubes to go in there for her clothes. And um, we're just going to keep organizing. We're just going to keep on keeping on. The worst part of all of this is taking everything out to put things back in. It's like you have to make a bigger mess before the mess is gone. That's how I feel about it. 
Organizing is so hard for me. This does not come naturally to me. Okay, here we go. Had to take a brief intermission. Bailey needed lunch, but we finished the dresser, so it's looking so much better. I mean, you guys saw it before; it was a horrendous mess. Um, but yes, it's looking so much better. I thought I would show you what I did to like organize the drawers. Um, so the top drawer here. On the right hand side is going to be all of her short sleeve onesies and her bows. There's some still to be washed that are like tank tops that I thought I would put in there. So short sleeves, bows. Second drawer down is all of her long pants. Um, so like sweatpants and leggings. And then here we have shorts, bloomers, and then her long sleeve onesies. Because Colorado in June, it still gets into the 50s. So... <laughs> And then the bottom drawer is just all of her hats and socks. So the top drawer is all like diaper change slash morning routine kind of things. This next drawer down is um, burp rags and stuff since I nurse her in this chair. Um, so burp rags and then I put everything good over there? Everything okay? Bailey, are you okay? Okay. I put all of this stuff in this next drawer up since I wanted to actually put it in the bottom drawer. But um, I know that too soon she will be big enough to reach into the bottom drawer. And um, it just has all of her little like gripe water and stuff, which I've never actually used. Um, but yeah, just some medicine type stuff, binkies, which she also doesn't use. And then in the bottom drawer, extra wipes and diaper stuff, and then some bibs as well. And now that the dresser is sorted out, the closet is the next thing that needs to happen. But Bailey Girl is ready for a nap, I think. So we need to take all of the stuff out of her crib that I dumped in there, um, nurse her, and get her down for a quick nap. about making a mess to make things clean the worst part of all of this is taking everything out to put things back in it's like you have to make a bigger mess before the mess is gone clean. oh my gosh for real okay but now that the closet floor is cleaned up I'm gonna move some new items in here um, the first item is going to be this shelf. Now this shelf, I got this on Amazon and I thought it'd be really great to put blankets, toys, extra sheets, things like that in. I was originally putting those um, in dresser, but I don't think it was the best use of that space, especially because like I said, the older Bailey gets, the bigger her clothes we get, the more space they're taking up. Um, so I wanted to move blankets and extra things like that into the closet. Um, and then the next I'm going to put in the closet is this bookshelf. I also got this on Amazon. Um, decided to get that is because we do have a couple of bookshelves in but They're quite small. They can only hold a And I have a box of books that doesn't fit on her little shelves. So we're gonna move that into the closet, put the rest of her books in there, and then we can kind of rotate it out with her bookshelves that are like on display.
a few long hours later. We now not only have a cleaner room, but a much more organized room. So I'll show you guys around the final walkthrough of everything. Bailey, are you ready to show them? Do you want to show everyone your room? Show them what we did? All right, let's go. <laughs> An amazing contrast from where we first began when there was just stuff piled everywhere on the floor. The dresser is clean. The floors are clean. Bailey's not clean. Just kidding. She had a bath last night. So the dresser is taken care of. Like I said, I just used these white or organizer cubes are from Ikea. Diaper changing station, so much better, so much cleaner than they were before. Clothes, so much better than it was before. Um, books, I went ahead and swapped out the books that Bailey had in there. Um, this is just kind of the books that she can reach. Um, we built the shelves low on purpose so that as she grows, she can have a little reading nook there. And then onto the closet, this was the biggest change as far as organization went. I cleaned up some stuff up here and added a few of these leftover bins, um, just for things like manuals for like the outlet, um, sleep monitor, things like that. Um, she only has a few little shoes, some blankets there that are kind of bigger, and then hung up her clothes. But let me show you, the bookshelf is so cute. Um, so these are all the books that are not in her little shelf. Um, and then we can just kind of come in here and swap them out um, every few weeks, which I like. What do you think, Bailey? Do you like that shelf? Do you like it? <gasps> yes. Oh, those little white shelves too are supposed to go on this wall eventually, but that is a JP project. <laughs> Don't trust me with that. Um, so yeah, loving this canvas bookshelf here. Um, and then this little shelf here is perfect. I went ahead and did things that Bailey doesn't really need to reach herself at the top, and then things that she would like to reach herself on the bottom. So I have blankets and swaddles at the top. Um, a few more blankets and the baby carriers, second drawer, third drawer down, I have some toys here, a couple toys that she's still a little bit too little for, um, car toys, sound, extra sound machine, and then in the bottom drawer, I have all the toys that she currently plays with and loves, so stuffed animals, little rattly kind of things, um, so yes, really recommend this little shelf from Amazon. They have all different colors as well of that. So definitely would recommend, but I'm feeling so much better about this space. Everything is so much cleaner, more organized, easy to get to. 10 out of 10. So if you are in a similar position as me and you got a little babe or maybe a few little babes and things are just kind of a hot mess. I hope that this video gave you a little bit of inspiration that you can organize your space. Listen, if I can do it, literally. Blow them raspberries. If I can do it, literally anybody can. Organization is not my strong suit at all, but um, yeah, the organizer cubes, the bookshelf, uh, the everything just helped so much with the process. Things feel so much cleaner now. Bailey girl, what do you think? I think Bailey likes it too. Thanks again for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe too. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.